Namaskar, I'm Ashok Vyas on behalf of Harama Studio. I'm proud to present this special meditation come discourse series by on Kashmiri Shaivism by Virinder Kazi ji, who he is was introduced by Nirmal Mattu ji. A lotus in the mud was introduced uh, by uh, Indrajit Saluja ji. This is an initiative of uh, Parveen Chopra ji, who with his wife was instrumental in making this event happen and also Virinder Kazi ji's uh, discourse and meditation session uh, was preceded by devotional singing uh, by Mrs. Kazi ji. Uh, Nirmal Mattu ji, Mohan Vanchu ji, Kavita Vanchu ji also supported this event along with several other organizations including Aramba Studio. When Kazi ji is, is here, I am reminded of Kashmir. I am reminded that a friend of mine who was a major general, Irani Vijay Bhushan Nath Shahadev, he came from a princely state in Bihar, the Parukot state. He invited me over. I couldn't visit. I had another friend of my major general, Mishra, who settled in uh, Ambala. He invited me. He was a court commander there. I couldn't go. Much though I was told by so many, including my father, about Kashmir, the famous uh, Persian couplet about Kashmir Gar Firdos Baru Zamiyast Hamiyasto Hamiyasto Hamiyast. And if translated in English, it means if there is a paradise on earth, it is here, it is here, it is here. I am here to welcome you all to this afternoon. And this has been made possible by this friend of mine, Praveen Chopra Ji, who I think I should, in all fairness, introduce in just about two sentences. He is he, the founder of HelloJusinTheMud.com the platform which is hosting it. And as I understand, because uh, when I look at his career, he is the founder of one of the best known magazines in India that dealt with the health and spirituality, life positive. His heart has always been in with, with a few subjects like spirituality, meditation, realization of self and all that. He probably was a misfit into journalism. Till recently he was here as a managing editor of the South Asian Times. But then his heart was always pounding for something else. And I'm glad that he could uh, find that finally. He is ready to give his all to what he really wants to do and that is to promote spiritualism and once again thank you very much for coming over this afternoon thank you so much as a kid ki maun jo hai wo bhi gyan ka hetu hota hai khas karke bhagwan dakshina murti ka smaran ho jata hai और आदि गुरु के रूप में तो शिव जी हैं ही हैं आज का दिन मेरे लिए बहुत विशेष ऐसा है कि मैं उनको बहुत बरसों से जानता हूं और रूबरू हम शायद इस रूप में पहली बार मिले लेकिन एक संबंध होता है जो उसमें आप वैसे व्यक्तिगत न भी मिले हों तो और उनके बारे में जो मेरा भाव है वो मैंने उनके कुछ जो वक्तव्य भी सुने तो मैं हमारी जो परंपरा में गुरु के आदर की दृष्टि से जो सूक्ष्म एक अभिव्यक्ति होती है उसका भी मैं मैंने प्रवीण जी से अनुमति ली तो सबसे पहले तो मैं आपकी करतल ध्वनि के साथ में आदरणीय काजी साहब से और आपसे अनुरोध करूंगा कि आप यहाँ पधारे बिराजे तो 
दीपो ज्योति जनार्दन दीपो हर तुम्हे द्वंदम संवित दीपनमोस्तुते शुभम करो तु कल्याणम आरोग्यम सुख संपद द्वेश बुद्धि विनाशाय आत्मज्योति नमोस्तुते आत्मज्योति प्रदीप्ताय गुरु ज्योति नमोस्तुते मोजी से मैं अनुरोध करूंगा आपको तिलक ओम नमो सुनंता सुनमूर्त शिशुरुषा शाश्वते सोटि युगधारिणे नम नम कमलनाभाय नमस्ते जलशाइने नमस्ते वासुदेव नमोस्तुते वासना वासु वासी भुवन सर्वूत निवासोषे वासुदेव नमोस्तुते शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्य वंदे भगवन पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्म मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमवद्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम ए लोटस इन दट डॉट कॉम इट वॉज लॉन्च इन जनवरी एट द इंडियन कॉन्सुलेट मेनी ऑफ यू वो देयर वो देयर इट वॉज एट द इंडियन कॉन्सुलेट इन न्यूयॉर्क एंड यू कैन ऑलरेडी सी द प्रोग्रेस वी हैव मेड वी हैव बीन एबल टू ऑर्गेनाइज दिस इवेंट एंड वी वॉर एट द पार्लियामेंट ऑफ वर्ल्ड रिलीजन्स दिस यू मे नो Swami Vivekananda was there. He made it famous uh, in 1893, and since 1993, this Parliament of World Religions uh, has been occurring every four years. I was there in Chicago, and we covered the conference uh, uh, in Lotus. Quite a few stories are done. Quite a few more stories I will be doing. Uh, and uh, so the this event has been po- made possible by support from many of you people a uh, blessing of uh, dr mattu and mohan manchu ji another i uh, from lotus i want to say that please subscribe to our newsletter which is a bi weekly newsletter we started about couple of months ago and it's free the, the entire website is free and the newsletter is also free uh, we'll be Uh, uh circulating some paper slips you can write your name and and uh, email address to subscribe or go on your phone uh, cell phone and uh, go to a lotus in the mud.com you have been given a couple of uh, uh, flyers so there is a lotus flyer and there is one flyer uh, about uh, kazi ji's work and you will also find a little gift uh, did you open the envelopes Uh, it's a little magnet a fridge magnet it's an inspiring quote it says uh, you become what you affirm uh in fact i i when i was doing that uh, it could be a good business idea to to do under lotus to have uh, this kind of inspirational messages uh, on fridge magnet because people do want to keep uh, some stuff uh, magnets on the fridge uh kazi ji will be introduced okay so uh, the outline of the program today uh first uh, hema kazi ji will uh, 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 do some uh, devotional songs and uh, i think in particular lal wak i don't know how to pronounce it there was lal this uh, lal wak okay so there was this uh, uh, 14th century mystic poet and saint named laleshwari and uh, her sayings her verses are called lalwak and uh, kazi ji is a special uh, expert in 
Laleshwari, her work, and he has compiled and, and so on. So, mm -hmm. which also he will uh, let us know. Um, and somebody already mentioned, oh yeah, I, I came to know uh, Kaziji in India, when I was in India. Uh, I was running the Life Positive magazine, and he used to write on Kashmiri Shaivism for us, and we published uh, that. And uh, so, and again, we uh, came in contact mm -hmm. recently. So, uh, Hemaji's program, and then, uh, uh, then Kaziji's program, and, and meditation for our women. कहाँ भटकती 
भीतर होने आदेश बने ये शब्द प्रेरणा मेरे आदेश बने ये शब्द प्रेरणा मेरे तब से मैं नाची नगमग्न पट खोले तब से मैं नाची नगमग्न पट खोले बस एक बात मुझसे मेरे गुरु बोले सूरदास जी का है कृष्ण भजन
interpreting and lecturing about Kashmir Shaivism and uh, this, this I'm just going to give you a little base because he's going to discuss Kashmir Shaivism in detail uh, it's a philosophical system that developed in Kashmir finding a relationship between time between God between space energy and completely relevant to the modern times, to the modern science. I, I just don't mean by Newtonian physics or, or uh, Einstein's physics, but, but the mystical nature of the modern quantum physics, and it, it, it relates to that. And many, many of the books that you'll read nowadays will have some quotation from, from Kashmir mysticism, Kashmir Shaivism, uh, in the preface or in the cover of many of these physics books. You know, Kashmir has been a fountainhead for India's intellectual output for a long time. There's nothing special about people, but the, the way it was nurtured, uh, and the only emphasis was on scholarship and being an intellectual. Whether these were Sanskrit studies, in Kashmir we used to speak in Sanskrit till, nearly till 14th century. Whereas when you see the edicts of Ashokas from 3rd, 4th century BC, they are in Prakrit scripts in Pali and other way. Whereas in Kashmir, we kept this Kashmiri, uh, Kashmiri language, Kashmiri lingua franca used to be Sanskrit. Whether there was philosophical inquiries where a lot of people were involved, whether it was aesthetic studies, and most of them were done in Kashmir. Whether you see, uh, even though nowadays Bharata, Somebody quoted Bharata's Nadi Shastra. Bharata is not thought. Most of the people think that he was from Kashmir because most of the commentaries, whether it take Bama's Riti school or Anand Vardhana's Dhani school or Kuntaka's Vakruti school or eventually Avinay Gupta who wrote them, Avinay Bharti, uh, were all Kashmiri. So it looks like that Bharata himself was Kashmiri and actually. Abhinav Gupta calls it fifth Veda, Panch Veda, in this. And storytelling that Kashmir has developed, the way means of communicating philosophical ideas, Somadeva's Kathasari Sagra, or all of you have read Vishnu Sharma's Panch Tantra, they were all Kashmiri uh, authors, Kashmiri intellectuals. Uh, the reason why it was a little different was that in Kashmir were a little bit of liberty. We did not accept Veda as the ultimate of knowledge. That there were other schools, whether it was Sankhya or whether it was Nyaya, or we had, we had scholars which were, were studying that. And Buddhism develops in Kashmir. All the main conferences on Buddhism were held in Kashmir. And finally, the last conference, which was under Kanishka's time, in which the Mahayana and Hinayana Buddhism, Theravada and Mahayana Buddhism, 
uh, were separated and all the edicts and everything about Mayana Buddhism were written were done in Kashmir. And finally, Kashmiri monks went to China and Vietnam and other places to spread Buddhism. So, so it, it, even though we had Vaishnavism flourishing also in Kashmir at that time, I have relatives with last name Vaishnavi, but eventually it was the Shaivism, which, which for Kashmiris was the ultimate of ultimate thoughts. Uh, from earlier dualistic uh, Shaivism with uh, Shiv Siddhanta so to the Shaiva Shakta uh, of non dualistic Shaivism was developed with its different traditional Kala, Kama, Spanda, very scientific traditions uh, and aspects were developed. Over the years, there have been many mystics and masters and academicians. And we heard singing from Laleshwari, we wrote beautiful poetry in Kashmiri, all about Shaivism. And, and the difference between Shaivism, and which he's going to talk in detail, and Vaishnavism is that to us, Shiva is everything. As she said, you are Bhutal, you are sky, you are, you are the offering, you are what is being offered, actually, in, even in Gita, there is a Brahma, Brahma, Abhari, Brahma, no Brahma, Abhari. It's very similar. Brahma, Teva, Gantavya, Brahma, Kavis, Madhira. It's something similar to it, but not to the extent the way which Hamzam does it. So there have been great writers, starting from Vasugurta, who, who found Shiva Sutras, to Kalata, Vlata, Somananda, Utpaldeva, uh, Laleshwari, and finally Abhina Gupta who wrote Tantra Loka, Tantra Sahara, and fought some 40 books, was ultimate genius of mankind. Nobody has been that level. Nobody on this planet. And there are practitioners nowadays, and you have, uh, you know, like Sanderson, and Toskarski, uh, Lakshmanju, in our present time, who I have met. Uh, Badina, Baum, Rafaela, Torel, Gurtuji, uh, and in, in our midst today, uh, Rinder Kaziji, modern practitioners. It's known as Kashmir Shaivism and also Trikash Shaivism, but it's a pan Indian phenomenon. And, and because of the three elements of it, many three elements on it, whether you take Devi's or anything, he's going to discuss that. And the main spiritual guides to Kashmir Shaivism will be, there are a lot of books written, Utpal Devas and Shiva Sutra, but Mali Vijnana Vijna, Tantra, Tantra Sahara, Vijnana Bhavra, Tantra, even Patavijan, Hridayam by Shemra, there are a lot of books, in, many books, in such detail. Uh, and we have been studying one book for the last three, four years, every Saturday for three hours from where over 20 of us from all over the world. And these are, these are all professors. I'm the layman in that. And we have done something like 30, 40 shlokas of it till now for in three, three and a half years, every Saturday, three hours. So there is such depth of learning and knowledge there. And he's going to delight us. I, I just give you a very brief, I, I don't want to take this much time, but I want to just him some base that he, he, he has a master's in, uh, Vrindarji has a master's in, in public administration. Then he had a leadership role in Hindustan Steel and finally in Steel Authority of India. But for the last three decades, he's spending time in, in explaining to people, I think, part of his layman in certain easily communicable terms what Kashmir Shaivism is. And he is also preaching the teachers of the mystical genius, Laleshwari. Uh, there are some English translations of Laleshwari, particularly that Kaak uh, uh, from University of Hawaii has nicely translated Lalwak uh, and explained it to some extent. And he's also conducting 
programs on business, ethics, and leadership. So I won't take too much of your time, which I already taken. So I like to come and. So let me start with gratitude to Laldad Mata Laleshwari. Actually, she was torch bearer of Shaiva Agamas and gave us this wisdom in inspiring local language. You have just now heard Imaji's Lalwa in Kashmiri and in Hindi. Let me just conclude with one lalwa. First again in Kashmiri, then in Hindi. Because this lalwa gives cream of Kashmiri Shaivism. This entirely explains Kashmiri Shaivism. This single bar. Tapan shuchi zavil zawal vaharavit. Kadazan much hai turit cut. Ata zidane which hurt. Adakati murid. Yani mu is pan cut. Was it chai cut? Now, Kali listen to Hindi translation. Kate Shu Fayalai Suksham Jal Are Soyamahi Gatagatavasi hai. Lord Shiva pervades everywhere. Shu Fayalai Suksham Jal Soyamahi Gatagatavasi hai. Are Jeevan Mahi to Pachano. Jeevan Mahi to Pachano. Realize in this life and now. Jeevan Mahi to Pachano. Marke kya Pachano ge. Chintan se tum gehen manan se baat tatv ki jaan lo. Khud ko khud se alak karo kya nashwar hai, avinashi hai, arishu pailai, suksham jaan. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. It's a pleasure and a sadhana to be here in Long Island. As uh, Prabhuji has mentioned, you know, not only you, you wrote articles on Kashmir Shaivism, you helped me. We had a big, very big event in Kamani Auditorium. That was Parma Yogini Lalishwari. Himaji sang those. You know, this also song is from that Hindi translation. And you really helped us. When Swati Chopra, you had deputed, I remember. She covered everything in this article. So it was also labor and love. Now, Nirmalji has given a very inspiring introduction and lecture that shows how much depth he has, how much hard work he has done over the various genius uh, what those areas. I don't even one person of Kashmiris would not have gone that area. But here I had also have some interaction with him. In fact, uh, I will tell my Kashmiri Hindu friends that you are sitting on a treasure of knowledge and the world wants you to explore it. Some people say now what we have an uh, exodus, we have differently problems, Kashmiri Pandits have faced, I mean, our books have been destroyed, many things are there. But even then we have to rise, rise and rise, there's no alternative. I was quoting, uh, which I shared with Mr. Nirmalji also, there was a great Sarangadeva of Karnatak music. He wrote Sangeet Ratnakara, the three days on uh, music. He was he had to run away, ran for his life in Muslim rule. Then he went to Karnataka. Then he told them, okay, now I am a Kashmiri Pandit. I have got this knowledge, this Vidwan, I am a bit scholar. I have worked on a sadhana. They said, forget about all this. You have come from Kashmir. Do some work. We don't know what is sadhana, this thing. Do some work to survive. So he had to become poor fellow accountant in the job of accountant. And then he settled his family. There was immediate need. Then he wrote the church eyes. So again, how to realize God through music. And King of Mysore honored him. And then mm -hmm. that became the history. So we must always be positive and hopeful. We had to do something. Everybody has a responsibility. This was I wanted dear to me. I wanted to hear this. And all my friends, about uh, you're all familiar with Amarnath Yatra, Holy Cave of Amarnath, Shivji ke darshan kare ke Amarnath mein. Jeevan Katha, Amrit Katha, Sunay ke Amarnath. So my general public knows about Shivji in Amarnath. So I want to tell normally what happened, Banaras, Kashi was a seat of learning. 
and people normally would go to Banaras for learning. We are told closely in my Vedantic Vedas, Banaras, and Krishna Yudhurvi and other things. But I guess sadhakas, they will go to Sharda Peet. They will go to Sharda Peet for certain practices. And so Agamas, beyond Veda, that's what Imaji has said. They would, Sharda Peet was very popular. Not only, I mean, the Dukhsin Buddhists would go there for this thing. You know, Sharda Peet is in POK, Park occupied Kashmir. Mm -hmm. Now we have made a tea call at a replica, and I think a lot of pressure is going. I'm sure within a year or so, it will be thrown open to the tourists, like Gartapur. Sharda Peet will be thrown open to the city. But Sharda Peet was a seat of learning. So we must do something, and the world is, needs us. We must explore the treasure, and many, many scholars, as you said. Now, let me do pranam. Let me do pranam to Lord Shiva. Let me do pranam to Lord Shiva who resides in all of you, who resides in all of you as your inner divinity. Please remember whether you are happy, you are not so happy, healthy, not so healthy, the divine light is fully within you. Mata Parvati and Lord Shiva are fully manifest in you. Please remember God is always with you. And to know this reality, that is the that is the purpose of Kashmir Shav. That's why I call it, you know, Raman Maharishi's pet word that know thyself, Raman Maharsalogan. So this we call can Kashmir Shav, we can call Nirvana is I am Shiva. That is the theme of our own, uh, our discussion, our gathering. Theme is I am Shiva. In fact, uh, one of my teachers, uh, um, practitioner rather, Om Prakash Mahajan, would always say, Are you are Shiva. Why don't you believe that when Lord Shiva is giving you in writing that you are Shiva in the first sutra of Sri Sutra, Chaitanyam Atma. The Atma Chaitanya. So Lord Shiva is giving you writing. So that is our theme. And always, God is never away from us. God is always with us. In fact, uh, what is the uniqueness of Kashmir Shaivism? They say, in this very life, in this very life, you can have a divine vision. You can be your own guide. Whatever sadhana you are doing, but that will be my, also, uh, my talk. So you will yourself know at what level I am. We just give you a hint so that you can go higher, you can evolve yourself. And you can live in the world, you can uh, do the good job in Grahasti. I'll say Kashmir Shaivism teaches harmony in material life and gives it its very most powerful certain techniques of divine realization. So you have you have there's no sannyas. Why can you go up? We have to live in this world. So it's a total harmony in the material world. Now, in fact, because of this modern communications, world has become one family. I think this has also one of the results why Kashmir Shaivism is becoming popular day by day. You know, if you see, there are some uh, in this the mystic practices of India are known because of modern computer age communication. Communication barriers have been overcome. My friends, you know, uh, Shri Shri Ravishankarji, he's also, I'm also grateful to him. He hosted me a lot of trips. We were together many places. He is also in Kashmir Shah. So he has books, it's very popular, Shiv Sutra by Shri Shri. And he also conducts classes of Vigyan Bhairav. So he has a deep interest. But because of myself, I couldn't get He said he wanted to have a Ganeshji idol in the Ishwar Ashram. I was a little bit requested those uh, that is that we and start inside a Ganeshji's marble statue in Ishwar Ashram also. That's a great interest he has, uh, Shri Shri. Now, if for some of my friends, if you listen to YouTube, Swami Sarvapriyananda, the, head, the young handsome monk of uh, Ram Krishna in New York, and he's that. He says, I am from a Vedantic background. I go to my guru. They say, I said, I have worked very hard. Nothing has happened. He said, try again, continue. I said, nothing has happened. He said, okay, try. Good luck in the next Janma. Hmm. 
But if you want this Janma, the past is Kashmir Shah. He always says, if you are not fit for Shambhupa, you are fit for next level of Shakti, left after five. He says, if you know Kashmir Shahism, you can really understand the gospel of Ram Krishna Paramahamsa. Similarly, in YouTube also, Bhadar Jagiji, he also talks about Kashmir Shahism. I am also grateful to him. We had a chance meeting and he told me that he has highest regard for this Kashmir Shahism. Now, of course, First, I will convey my gratitude. My Kashmiri friends may be aware of the great saint Kralabha. Kralabha was a great saint. You know, there were many masters who have blessed me. He was a, actually a servant in our house. He also got initiation in our house. It is biography, they'll say, Jain Sahib ke ghar mein, he got uh, this thing. Then many, many masters were there. I have spent, they have blessed me. And some subtle sadhana, it is the credit goes to them, not to me, who initiated into subtle practices. So let me convey gratitude to them. Now. Students of Shumpran, Lord Shiva always says, when there is decline of dharma, when dharma ka nash hota hai, I come in the human form, bless somebody to restore the dharma. And the very popular shuluk of Bhagavad Gita, yada yada hi dharma se galane bhavet varta. You know, I am from Kashmiri, so please enjoy the, we are more fluent in Urdu language. You know, that's our culture, this thing. Let me translate this yada yada hi dharma se in Urdu. So please remember, there's a word called Tanazul. Tanazul means decline. Kate hai ke, Tanazul par jis vakt aata hai dharam. Tanazul par jis vakt aata hai dharam. Adharam aake karta hai bazaar garam. Are ye andera jab dekh paata hu mein, to insaan ki surat mein aata hu mein. It's not the same. What's the translation? Now, what happened? When Kaljuk came, Kaljuk ka time aa gaya, Kaljuk down. So what was Kaljuk down? What was the priority? Everything is material. Paisa hi sab kuch hai. Material achievement hi hai. Baki kuch spirituality kuch nahi hai. We call it Charvak Darshan was at the peak. And all those genuine saints, they got scared. They went to the hiding. They say, we are not, they are not fit to receive the knowledge. We are scared to teach people. They will use every knowledge, everything for adharma. So that was the scene of Kaljuga. Then Lord Shiva being ever merciful, he initiated Sage Durvasa. He initiated Sage Durvasa in Mount Kailash. Lord Shiva assumed the form of Srikantanatha, beautiful picture of Lord Shiva as Srikantanatha, and initiated Sage Durvasa in Kaila Agamas. And after fully initiating him, Srikantanatha disappeared. Now, you can call him our Adi Guru, Durvasa Rishi. So he has the knowledge, Shaiva Akmas. But it was Kaljuk time. He did not fight. was highly disciplinarian. And everybody knows Durvasa. You would get angry also. He was highly disciplinarian. He did not fight a worthy disciple. He did not fight a worthy disciple whom he could teach. So he created mind-born son. He created mind-born son called Trambakaratha. And in Shaiva Agamas in Tantra, we have equal importance, but more importance to feminine energy. He also created mind, born, son, Arde Tampakyash, initiator of the call practices. Daughter. And mind born, sorry, mind born daughter. And in this way, they say uh, 15 uh, mystics were produced. Mind born son, 15th masters were produced. They say 15th master was not that capable. So he was advised to marry. And then it became other son tradition. And one of the masters, Sangamaditya, he was third, fourth century, he settled in Kashmir. He came to Kashmir. And he taught then big revival took place in eighth century. There was a humble Shaivite saint by the name Vas Gupta. He was a very humble saint. And that time the rule administration was power of was with Nagabodhi, a Buddhist monk. And some friends, your people started praising Vas Gupta to Nagwadi. He said, who can be better than me? Okay, bring him to my Darbar, let me have who has the more powers. Virtually, Vas Gupta was forced to go to Nagwadi. And he was virtually insulted by Nagwadi. And what happened? He became very sad. He returned to the disciple that being slept. He said, oh, why did I go? Oh, Lord Shiva, why did they insult me? 
that Lord Shiva came <coughs> in the dream. Lord Shiva came in the dream, said, go to Mahadev mountain, find Shiva Sutras and enlighten the world. The morning, he goes to Mahadev mountain. Mahadev mountain is, some people who have gone to Harvard, there's a Dashi Gam, what is the, there's a, he went to it, uh, Mahadev mountain on a particular story, overturned and Shiva Sutras by repeat. That's, it is still there. Muslims call it Shankarpal. And Baba Muktan to go there and have a break of coconut oil. It will still people go to Dachi. I also bought a Dachi gum. We are three, four kilometers inside. They will take the Shankar Bhatt. Then it, masters were from Vasgup. Then was great Acharya Utpal Dev, Kritibhigya, Darshan. Then great genius was Acharya Abhinagup. He was a incarnate of Shiva. He compiled all the tantra, various, various sects, and compiled tantra loka. The light of tantra, he also compiled tantra sahara. He wrote very, very useful commentary on Bharati. Nirmal Ji has told, mentioned about him. But I want to mention one point. It's a thinking for all of you. You know, we, we study the life of saints. It guides our life. We must learn the life of how the saints live. That's a learning for us. One thing about Abhinav Gupta, in Tantra Loka, first chapter, he tells about his master studies. He said, my gratitude is Bimla Kala, my own mother, she was a yogini. Then he, my next gratitude is Narsim Gup, my father. He taught me the Sanskrit grammar, logic, without that I could not open the Kunji. Then he tells Lakshman Gup, he taught me Padivikya Darshan. Then Bhuti Raja taught a grammar system. He was thirsty of knowledge, which should be thirsty of knowledge. He said, when I was studying with Bhuti Raja, his son Hila Raja came. I found him equally brilliant. So I went separated to meet him. Then Hindu, she taught him Nati Shastra. Then he said, I went to Nakli Gurus also. That they said, we have no, I said, let me test them. They had no knowledge of tattva, tattva, but they called themselves Tattva Gyani. Then a thousand years back also, there were Nakli Gurus, not even now also. <laughs> but now what is very surprising is, then he went to Guru, Shambhu Natha. He said, Shambhu Natha, Siddh Natha, Jagat Udara. He said, Shambhu Natha can, he said, all learning is useless, books are useless. It's one drishti can afford you. The Mahapurishka kya tawal hota hai. He said, he's, he can uplift the whole world. He said, one drishti can transform you. He said, he's the ultimate of Jalandar Pitha. Now scholars are wondering whether the way Abhinav praises Shambhu can he be a real human being or Lord Shiva himself? Shambhu Natha. Sir, what happened? A few before Corona years, I was invited by Indira Gandhi National Center for Arts. There's some Buddhist paintings of Ladakh. They wanted me to see and some scholars were invited. There were paintings of Shay Monastery and other monastery. This is the most sacred saint, thousand years back, Lama Chambu I thought he's a guru of Abhinav Gupta. Then I talked to Professor Lokesh Chandra, who was a scholar of international scholar on Buddhism. I told him, Lokesh Ji, how is the is the guru of Abhinav Gupta and guru of Buddhism? He said, many, many masters, are they were beyond religions also. They had represented many places. In fact, uh, it's surprising. When we go above spirituality, what happens? In fact, uh, Meem Karoli Baba, people are aware of Ganji Dham. You know, his guru, she has initiated Himaji. They said, when she does the Bandara, suddenly they will say, many miracles. I don't want to go a long story. They say, he was an old man in blanket. He said, Beta, mujhe naram puri de do. Mere naat hai. Then the guru, the Bhakti Mahashi was inside, said, Darshan Hoye Baba Ki. I mean, they appear any time. They are beyond Kala. These masters are beyond Kala. So that is a thing I wanted. One thing more also I wanted, Guru Shish Kaise Hota Hai? Abhinavu Shish was Them Raja. And all you know, he did a great work on Shiv Sutras because of Them Raja, Shiv Sutra Bali, Neta Tantra, many things he made easier for us. They say he was a little tough guy, could criticize his scholars. I will go to knowledge and are be humble, be always humble. He said, what was it? So the great about Khaimah Raja, he had one quality. Every morning, the moment he would meet his master, I mean, he will kiss the feet of his master. And because of that, no Ashurvah can stop. <laughs> so in Kashmir, there is para gyan, para bhakti, mm. and para supreme, para tapas, everything is the highest level in Kashmir. And modern day, Abhinav Gupta is now Swami Lakman Yu Maharaj. He was, you can call him modern day Abhinav Gupta. We all know it because of him. And that lineage was basically Swami Ram. Swami Ram was around 18th, you know, he left his birth in 1820 or something. 
Swami Ram's Shisha was Matapka, and Matapka Shisha was a very amazing story. It's very interesting to learn about them. Swami left for you. He did this is how they were modern day. Now, before I put next, <coughs> I will quickly touch because some people are asking, what is Shaivism? You know, actually, we are modern in first answer question, we answer kids. Why Shaivism? How many Shaivism are there? Why Kashmir Shaivism? So quickly I'll say, I have broadly categorized four categories of Shaivism. One is Tamil Shaivism, which is called Shaiva Siddhanta, which is uh, popular in uh, Tamil Nadu, Sri Lanka, Malaysia. In fact, there is a great guru, Hawaii Monastery. Shiva Subramaniam Swami, you know that Hawaii Monastery, he was practicing Shaiva Siddhanta. In fact, he left his world in 2008. So whenever I used to come to America, of course, I had not gone to Hawaii, Hawaii, but I used to talk to him on the phone. He was blessing me and always he loved to talk to me. He was from the same uh, lineage of Shavit Siddhanta. Shavit Siddhanta, Kashmir Shavit is very common. Same, that was only purely a dualistic philosophy. Our is strictly monistic philosophy. Second uh, Shavit tradition is Bir Shava, or popularly called Lingayats. It was a king, Baswana, it was a reformist movement in Karnataka. They are doing a great job. They, because of rituals had dominated, unnecessary thing, essence was lost from the religion, so he made his reformist movement of that. Then now, Shaivism based on Vedanta is Kashmir, is uh, otherwise Shaivism of Shankaracharya. So what is Vedanta is essence of Upanishadas. These are all basically I tell people, you know, people want to know about it. And Shaivism based on Agamas is Kashmir Shaivism. Uh, you know, uh, what is Agama is a basic discourse between Shiva and Parvati. Now the beauty of it is it's Agama, it is based on totality. Good, bad, everything is divine. So everything is creation of God. That's why we discourage leaving the world. We discourage sannyas. We we are it's all inclusive. That's the characteristic of Kashmir Shaivism, which is based on because of it has Agma lineage. And uh, now about Kashmir Shaivism. It's a very popular why it is called Kashmir Shabdakur. Some said, you know, there's a J.C. Chatterjee was a scholar, Sanskrit scholar. He came from uh, Maharaja Pratap Singh, called him from Bengal, and he was a Sanskrit series, was the head of the Patshala of Maharaja, assisted by Madhusudan Kohl and Mukundaram Shastri, and got all the texts because he was at the initiation of Swami Pratap, then the Pratap Singh uh, time, Swami Ram. Swami Ram told him that, you know, this Granth are scattered. Why don't you compile together? He did the great pioneering work. And then he named it Kashmir Shaivism. And as all of you know, Kashmir Shaivism has become very popular worldwide because of Baba Bhaktananda, the Siddhi Yoga, many, many ashrams. So mostly they are everywhere. It is 100% foreigners are there. Not a single Indian, 100% foreigners conducted. Many, many places, Australia, Europe, other. They call it Kashmir Shaivism. So it's very difficult to change the name. Some people ask me, why did he call it Kashmir Shaivism? Now, so I will say, what is Kashmir Shaivism? I, for a common people, I will quickly give four features of Kashmir Shaivism. Kashmir Shaivism is a universal spiritual philosophy which focuses on the supreme unity of the self with God. It accepts all the aspects of life in totality and teaches the path of realization through divine grace. So I have enumerated four features. A universal spiritual philosophy. Anybody is welcome. It is beyond caste, creed, color. Anybody is welcome to be the student of Kashmir Shaivism. In fact, it is because it's a technique of God realization. Maybe of anything, maybe any religion, anything. It is because of that. And I won't tell my humble friends. They say India, Bharat Desh is the seat of learning, Hazaru Sal, you know, all avatars and learning, other things. But my dear friends, please listen. Uska Anukampa, grace is in everywhere. There are masters in worldwide. Though India was full of masters worldwide, there it is interesting to know that many, many masters were worldwide. I was Glalio, Marconi, if you see there, I'm not like it's elaborate type, it's not there. But no, there are masters of every world. So, Kashmir Shaivism is a universal spiritual philosophy. Anybody is welcome. Second feature is supreme unity of the self with the God. Our Swami Lakmanju will explain that it's not only Advaita. Kashmir Shaivism is Para Advaita. 
Even dualistic can get his grace. Even fool can get his grace. So why are you limited? Dayavai can uh, made, uh, this thing. It is a paradigm. They say when we go in Devak Sadhana, we go to it's a, it is a um, Bhagavan ke hi and Bhagavan se alag nahi hai. Ye kaise pata chalega? How we will know about it when we go in deeper sadhana? We realize, in fact, in meditation also I tell that when you go to a higher level, you will feel less difference between God and yourself. Your questions get answered. But let me quickly <laughs> quote one thing. You know, Iqbal's popular that Kodi ko kar blood itna. You know, yesterday one uh, sacrament to one, one gentleman, he asked me to explain it. Because it's an otherwise philosophy. Kudi ko kar blood itna ke har takdeer se pehle khuda bande se khud pushe bata te ni raza kya hai. You know, it's called Shifa evolution. Iqbal goes further. He says, Kabhi ay haqiqat muntazir nazar al liwa se majaj mein ki hazaro sajde tadap rahe tere zabeen e niyad mein. Oh God, let me see you. Let me have your darshan because my mata got weird out in namaz. And the God replies, Jabe sajda survey sajda tha so, Zabi se aai ye sada, aray tera dil sanam hai aashna, tujhe kya milega nimaaz se. I reside in my heart, but you will get off the nimaaz. So, the end is very important. And Iqbal says to God, aray, we are one, we are not different. How can you make, be my child? You can't be my child. You are not separate from me. He says, very interesting, Rode hisab jab mera pesh ho daftar e amal. Jis roz tere daftar mein, I am a Christian in the day of judgment. Jis roz tere daftar mein mera hisab hoga. This rose there is after my pisa hoga kate hai. Rode hisab jab mira pecho daftar yamal. Are it to be sharam sar ho much kobi sharam sar kar. A promote to my be sharam hagi mujo be sharam in That is a supreme beauty of the self with God. I wanted to explain. The third feature is diversity. God has made everybody differently. We must accept. Everybody is different. We must accept diversity. In London, they will ask you, Mr. Khan, you have 32 crores, David Devtas. I told them, even not two slow flags are alike. God has made everybody different. You know, we say that, Tujme Ram, Bujme Ram, Har, Sabme Ram Samaya, Sabse Karle Pyar, Jagat Me Koi Nahi Paraya. The fourth feature is a very important feature of Kashmir Shabdi. Third, I said, a universal spiritual philosophy, supreme meaning of the self with the God. Diversity divine. Fourth is, how can we get God? Is it by any mantra, by any asana? No. We get God only by His Anukappa, by His grace. So, fourth is, teaches the path of realization by divine grace. Because this is a basically essence of two sutras also. It's only grace can come on whom He chooses, not our effort. Grace can come on a fool also, on undeserved person also. Like you no know, Ratnaka Daku Vijay Valmiki. So this is the very important aspect of Kashmir Shaiva. Now, having given brief about its four features, there are vast knowledge, ultimate grunts, which starting from basic three tantra, what is the Maradi Vijaya Tantra, Swachanda Tantra, Rudra Yamala Tantra. You know, I'm telling you vast knowledge. Such a Malari Tantra gives a core philosophy of Kashmir Shaiva. And Swachanda gives rituals, the very huge, elaborate. And Rudra Yamal is the ultimate philosophy, like Paratrishka is from Rudra Yamal Tantra. Even our Bhavani Sasnam is from Rudra Yamal Tantra. And then there are the Gran Tantra Loka, that big knowledge. But I tell my all humble friends, let us do a beginning. Let us do a beginning. All We are all working people. Why, why do we love to evolve in this life? So, thoda sa padhiye, but padhiye this thing. Let us do a beginning. Little bit important, but we little learn it thoroughly. So, I always say, but what we should learn? Because ultimately, by this learning and this, we we'll go in a holistic, we we'll had our holistic path again harmony in material world and the highest techniques of God realization. So I call this study in two sessions, the knowledge session and experience session. So what we should, a beginner must begin. Number one is Parmashiva. Please have the knowledge of Parmashiva. I have made this deliver. Parmashiva is the ultimate reality. You can call him Anuttar, Almighty Khuda, any name, Vaheguru, Parmashiva. 
who is a changeless principle beyond all changes. Everything comes from Paramashiva and goes back to the Paramashiva. In fact, it has attributes of Paramashiva, as we call it Parasamat. What is Paramashiva? Almighty God. That is a sadhana, we call it on Parabhairava. Also, we call it sadhana on that. So, at least learn the features of Paramashiva is the Almighty God. Now, second chapter is how God truly comes to the human level. Shiva to Jiva. How Shiva, by his own sweet will, has a, what's a material manifestation of the world. So Shiva becomes Jiva. That's what we call the knowledge of Isik Tattva, Tattva Gyan. So, Parmashiva decides to create the material universe. First is the consciousness, Shiv Tattva. Then he wants to create, go further down to Jiva level. Then he wants to create Shakti. Shakti is called the goddess of experience, Yuvarshini Mata. Then Shakti creates universal supreme desire, supreme knowledge, supreme action. You know, that's called pure tattvas. Then Parmashiva also creates, next comes the Maya. Maya is the willing power. Everything is divine, but we will not enjoy the world. Let's have the limitation. We are all Shiva. No, I am this mind, I am he, this, he is that, he is that. He is my son, he is not my son, he is my friend, he is not my friend. I am in New York, I am not in Delhi. Limitation of time, I am in this century. They are called Maya and five coverings. Kala, Raag, Niti. Then this limitation, Maya and Shu becomes, it's a very wonderful system, beautiful. Maya plus Shu becomes Purusha, Maya plus Shakti becomes Prakriti. Then comes Buddhi, Ahankar, Manas, you know, then Gyanandre, Karmandre. And finally, it's basically descent from subtle to gross. Suksham se sthul ki yatra hoti hai. How descent takes place, universal great descent from subtle mm -hmm. to gross. And the grossest elements are Panch Mahabhutas, high gross elements, technically called Akash, Vayu, Agni, Jal, and Prithvi. So you see, at the uh, base level is Prithvi. Prithvi is the uh, grossest form. But Prithvi ke upar hai Jal. Jal can, you know, when there's a flood, you know, all earth goes, disappears. Go watch in the flood. So Jal is, uh, is uh, water is subtler than earth, but water is more powerful than the earth. And above water is Agni. In Agni is subtler than water, but Agni can dry the water. Water will disappear over Agni. And above Agni, kya hai? Why? Why you can blow up the Agni? So this is how subtle is powerful than the gross. And Akash, Akash ke upar sab nirbhai hai. Everything is based on Akash, holds everybody. Prithvi, everything. In fact, we do a meditation for young people, watch the sky also. Maybe I'll get some time to talk on that also. Very important. So, in, the, in our learning session, first is Parmashiva, ultimate reality, then Shiva becomes Jiva. How Shiva becomes Jiva? That is by his own Swatantra Shakti of Lord Shiva. He desires material manifestation. Through Tattvas, 36 Tattvas, Shiv, Shakti, and Maya. Now, we have come down. Now we must go back to the Shiva. We must find our Shiva nature. We must find our Shiva nature. How can we go back to our find our Shiva nature? It's just five minutes back I mentioned. We can only go back to Shiva nature by his Anukampa, by his Anugraha only. By Shiva's mercy only, we can go back to Shiva. Then what can we do? By the principle of Shakti path, only by Shakti path, we can go to Lord Shiva. Then what we can do? Acharya Abhinav Gupta explains that Shakti path is in everybody. Harek Prasuka Anukampa hai. Prabhu Ishwari Anukampa hai, bagar koi ji nahi sakta hai. Everybody has got Shakti path in him. Only thing is, kisi mein kam hai, kisi mein jada hai. God has created everybody with some amount of Shakti Path. Kisi mein kam hai, kisi mein jada hai. Kisi mein bohut jada hai. Some have extreme grace. What we call, teer with teer with Shakti Path. Some are born with extreme grace. Some are born with higher grace. Alag alag type ke log hai. And log, all of us are mostly born with the lower grace. So, Ab Abhinavput says that, jitna humare pas, uske aap saab priyas kana chahiye. We can make effort to be worthy of His grace. If we have got more grace, less effort is needed. So that's why 
our effort or upai is categorized in the four categories. Highest is called extreme grace, anupai, higher grace, chambopai, medium grace, shaktopai, and anupai, lower grace. Now, it is very interesting. Shu Sutra basic book discusses because three methods, chambopai, chakpai, anupai. In anupai, is the energy of action. Whatever worship we may do, puja karte, whatever we do, puja, part, meditation, charity, vagar, this all is a lower form of kriya only. This is called anupai. It's a lower form of kriya. In fact, uh, this also is very well categorized. Called technically dhyana yoga, uchar yoga, karna yoga, and satana parikarpana. That is temple vagar, that karna is on the body. Chari breath, which is extensively used, and then dhyana yoga. So, ye anupai pari ham chakal chal rahe hain. Then, humara priyas kya kya hona chahiye? Ham bahar bhuki se, andar bhuki hona chahiye. Let us go in words. That is the first step to shaktopai. How, what is shaktopai? When we withdraw within ourselves. When meditation is automatic. What we call ajap ajap, deep silence. Bandhinari vikasa, our inner channel opens. These are the features of Shaktapai. Maybe we'll get some time in meditation. We'll also, I'll give the brief for that also. So how long will meditation come? I'll wrap up briefly. So second, again, let me say in the, in the uh, knowledge session, Parva Shiva, Shiva becomes Jiva. And how Jiva go back to Shiva by his mercy, that's it. Shusutra tell us about that. Now, I want it. So let me not describe it. But there are very interesting things. All I, all my students, please remember principle of three, four, five. Principle of three, four. But Nirmal, you would have read this. Called three malas. Anomal. It's a very interesting thing. How the world runs. Anomal leads to mayamal. Mayamal leads to karamal. Execute. Then four, four stages in the manifestation of speech. Para, Vachanti, Madhima, Vaikri. Para leads to Pashanti. It's very interesting. Maybe if I have time afterwards, I will like to explain this. Somebody has beautifully explained this. Para, Pashanti, Madhima, and Vaikri. Para leads to Pashanti, Pashanti leads to Madhima, Madhima leads to Vaikri. Then five, five, Panchakrit, five great acts of Lord Shiva. That is creation, sustenance, dissolution, then revealing and revealing. Those in the Shiva Puran Padaya, I will tell you what Shiva is doing. Shiva is doing. शुभ शुभ जाते हैं उसे क्या होता है हम सब शुभ है शुभ शुभ जाते हैं फिर हम बोलते हैं ये मेरा है मैं ये अचीव करूंगा वो अचीव करूंगा फिर कौन अनुग्रह करता है फिर लास्ट इस अनुग्रह ओनली इस पंच कुछ सही संसार की क्रिया चलती है चलो सो फिर टाइम आई लाइक एक्सप्लेन इट फॉर नाउ दिस वाज अबाउट नॉलेज सेशन इतना आप नॉलेज कश्मीर शाह विदर्शन के लिए इतनी नॉलेज ग्रहण कर इतना ही नॉलेज ग्रहण करो पर कृपा करके थोरो ग्रहण करो Aage badke, this will really help you to evolve in, the, in your life. <coughs> now, second is experience session. Now, coming to experience session. How is it? Aage kaise badenge? Now, before experience session, can we chat Om? We chat with me three times. Om Namah Shivaya. 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 Om Namah Shivaya.
So learning session, I have categorized in three categories. Again, I say number one is Shu Samavesha, or in English, charging with Shivahood. Second is Shu Vikalp, that is pure thought construct. Third is energy of prana, or the prana shakti. Now, first thing is Shu Samavesha, charging with Shivahood. What, what way is that? That is theme. I am Shiva, may I show you who? So mm -hmm. all this little knowledge you must know. But for practice, kindly listen. I say, I want three gifts. I want three gifts from you. What are those three gifts? One is, number one is humility. Second is love. And third is compassion. Let humility, love and compassion should be your nature. You can't be anything other than that. Humility, love and compassion. Because we do explain in detail many, many things about hum these things, aspects. But humility will make your life very smooth, very comfortable. And why love? Love because you are Shiva, I am Shiva. Everybody is Shiva. We must love Shiva. And this love ultimately will be a sadhana to, uh, for the higher consciousness. Practice your love. And compassion is who are not lesser than us. That will give a tremendous blessings to you. And you know, our Swami Lakhmanji says, that my uh, Vidya Guru was Maheshwarath Razan. His father was a great scholar, saw the extremely simple life in Ganpatiyar, very simple person. They say he was sleeping and a thief came into his bedroom. There are a lot of books. He thought people would hide maybe 78 years back. Some money behind the books or something, they would hide it. He said he had nothing. Normally people would come and you know, chor aya and beat him and catch him. He looked at him. He said, Oh, beta, very sorry. Tumare unglia bhi thak gai. Tumare haath bhi thak gai. Oh, sorry, very sorry. Try, try, beta. Koi baat nahi. Mere jay mein kuch paisa hai, mein dunga. I'll share that money with you. And the thief fell at his feet. He said, Mujhe, I got the God. Mein apka jivan par gulam banunga. That is the power of humility because you will get much faster in meditation. You will evolve as a better human being. Let humility, love, and compassion should be your nature. Secondly, next is, you know, Hemaji sang uh, one song, Mujko Man Ki Shakti Dena. Hmm. Second is self-faith. Have 100% faith in yourself. If you do not have faith in yourself, you won't have faith on others. I will say, don't listen to anybody. Listen to yourself only. Whatever comes to your mind, what gels with your mind, that will stay permanently with, your, with you. So, man ki shakti is very important. It's very, very important. And listen to yourself because that will be a... You are a, Because you are nothing. You are Shiva yourself. Don't think you are less. Normally, Sadhana would say there's a triangle. Upar hai Shiva. Right side is Guru or teacher. He tells you the path. Left side is the Jiva. You have to tread yourself. Path. Nobody other pair will not tell. You should have 100% faith in yourself. Secondly, I'll say you must love yourself. Love your inner child. Don't ignore it. Because our lineage is Agamas. We are created by Lord Shiva. Your body is a temple of God. Don't say, don't ignore yourself. Be well dressed also. Because it's difficult to do that. To suffer and no, no suffering, nothing. Be well dressed. Love yourself. Dawai khali, dawai khai. Be healthy. Because you are a temple of God. Love yourself. Now, third is also very important. People have got benefit. They said, we are worried, are kal kya hoga? Parsu ke worried about tomorrow, worried about day after tomorrow. I'll say, tomorrow will be wonderful, day after tomorrow will be wonderful. Once you believe, Lord Shiva is a doer, Lord Shiva is a joyer. Prabhu ke naam par kara hao, bale manik prabhu kara raha hao. Prabhu kara raha I will tell you, tomorrow everything will be smooth. There will be badha hai. That is that wheeling and revealing energy of Lord Shiva. That also will be taken care of by Lord Shiva. Please believe me. Once you trust Lord Shiva, everything will be fine. There's a Puranic Gana Ekhake. Hamu Murak Jo Kama Bigade, Rambo Kaj Banayere. Ham Murak to Kavi Bigadege. Ram Kaj, Rambo, Ram to Bhagavan, Ram Kaj Banayaka. So leave it to God, everything will be smooth. So again, humility, love, and compassion, and self faith. Live our inner child and trust Lord Shiva for the future. Lord Shiva is the doer, Lord Shiva is the joy. Number two, this one, this is how I quickly complete Shu Samavisha, that is you become charging of Shiva. Now next is 
शुद्ध विकल्प शुद्ध विकल्प इज अवर माइंड अवर हैज अ टेंडेंसी थॉट कंस्ट्रक्ट इमेजिनेशन इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ माइंड इट कंडीज टू गॉड इमेजिनिंग सो वट वी शुड डू वी शुड ट्राई टू मेक इट प्योर थॉट कंस्ट्रक्ट शुद्ध मीन्स प्योर विकल्प इज थॉट कंस्ट्रक्ट हाउ टू डू दैट नो वी कैन डू वट वट एवर लेवल ऑफ spiritual evolution you are somebody said i am in mentally also very conscious but you can choose any mantra like om namah shivaya if it was the jiggy ji they play that music also with that so that get in harmony so i say do physical you can chant om namah shivaya om namah shivaya om namah shivaya then you chant mentally om namah shivaya chant mentally om namah shivaya then after mental om namah shivaya it will happen because the thought will your mind will go towards Om Namah Shivaya Bhor. So this vikal will become shuddh vikal. It will become pure thought and respect. And then, should are we supposed to do it now itself, or you just only talk about it? No, no. I'm ready to sing. Ready? Ready? We are ready. Ah, because I didn't come to direct it. Because shuddh vikal was okay. That was a theoretical again. Our unless our behavior, our life, our style changes. That is also very important for meditation. So this is my point. You can be, it's my. You can be comfortable, very comfortable. Only thing is, next should be straight. There's nothing else I require. Next should be rest. Everything is okay. Everything is perfect. Okay. Now we can say, close your eyes. Now I'll talk maybe twice. I'll say Om Namah Shivaya. Repeat with me Om Namah Shivaya. 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 Now you you only talk about chat Om Namah Shivaya. Please go on chat. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Now keep the eyes closed only. Now I suggest you let us make it very simple. You can either some you can continue as Om Namah Shivaya, but for convenience I reduce it is one word. Shivo Ham, I am Shiva. Shivo Ham, Shivo Ham. Now what you have to do? Please mentally chant, focus your energy. Shivo Ham, or if you like Om Namah Shivaya also, Shivo Ham. Mentally chant Shubo Ham. Then, Om Namah Shivaya. I hope everybody understood this what I said. Yes. Because some people are telling me they are pure Krishna bhakta. They say Jai Shri Krishna. They like that way also. I mean Krishna. I am like that. <laughs> Wonderful. So <laughs> after Krishna mentally, then Krishna. Pura dhyan Krishna pari man maso dhyan dije. The next Krishna. So you have, this will hundred percent. Your mind will never get diverted. It's the easiest technique to never, you will never get diverted. Now we we'll come to third step. That's energy of prana. You know this is you must do it for more time. <coughs> only this being sukhasana only requires it that your neck should be straight because energy prana shakti flow. This is the little higher meditation. Here directly take a guidance from Vigyan Bharo. Is the guy. So we have many practices, but I normally use the practice called one, four, and two. First darna followed by fourth darna, followed by second darna. So you will do it with me also, no problem. But what we do it? First darna is called watching the breath. This is extremely used by many many people. This uh, watching the breath, you know, exhale and inhale. See, exhale or inhale, inhale the fresh air. But we say 
in first dana that para devi makes you to repeat the chant of so hum she so and hum shakti you must go with the breath breath start from the region of heart by nostrils it goes out from nostrils it again comes back and in the region of heart it dissolves so what we say that while you exhale chant om so and inhale chant ham and with dwadasha means distance of 12 fingers this external dwadasha bahir antrika this is the region of heart to call center of the body so then i will tell you while doing the meditation sir what you had what is that this is a little subtle isi mein jadu isi mein hai isi mein higher conscious or reach higher consciousness will be through this both were preparatory first and second was preparatory this is higher consciousness is many many dharmas so let me say uh, comfortable and next to it only om namah shivaya om namah shivaya mentally please watch the breath prana shakti breath start from the region of heart from the external nostrils it goes and dissolves in the outer space from outer space it comes through the nostrils and gets dissolved in the region of heart please you focus attention on the breath please travel with the breath what we call watch the breath so mentally watch the breath and mentally chant while exhaling so and while inhaling hum what you are doing you are just mentally watching the breath traveling with the breath and mentally chanting so while exhaling and hum by in the so so hum hum sa priya they say the para devi is automatically making us to repeat this mantra she is showing her blissful state through this mantra this is the first dharma of yoga mantra so we will from our heart we exhale to nostrils and then what we call pran <coughs> pranasha vayu is from the heart what goes out is prana vayu apan vayu or jiva is what comes in and prana is so and apan is ham so so hum hum sa kya and the smile on your face next state start from the region of heart of the nostrils is goes out you have to travel be conscious of the breath the journey of the breath and mentally chant so and hum now please be conscious when the breath goes out it ends and breath comes in while it exhales and inhales stop your breath deliberately for a one or two seconds so purpose is to be aware of the junction point junction point is the u turn when breath ends in the outer at outer end breath ends and inner breath begins outside junction similarly in within you within your heart when outer breath ends and inner breath inner breath ends and outer breath begins these two points deliberately can stop for a second or so so just you are conscious of the two points we call it sandhi this is para devi ka vaas sandhi mein para devi ka vaas hai the supreme goddess resides in this para devi she is the seat of power is a gap between life and death osho says is a gap between life and death so just feel the para devi wait for some time now next is a very important please listen this mentally listen to me carefully now 
देर इज नो नीड ऑफ चैटिंग सो हम सा मंत्रा नो नीड ऑफ वॉचिंग द ब्रेथ प्लीज ओनली थिंग यू हैव टू डू नो यू हैव सी दिस टू जंक्शन पॉइंट संदीप पॉइंट this next straight smile on your face please just mentally imagine these two points only nothing else this is the para devi's vas your neck is straight you are simply attention is on these two points Two junction points where external breath ends and internal begins, and here when internal ends and external begins. You will see these two junction points. They become become breath has become very subtle, very subtle, very slow. This gap is narrowing. Conclude rubbing the hand and then put on your eyes. So basically, you know what I told you in the second. It is just like you know, oil becomes like this, this, this. And you know the Swami just explained in this within this. You know, I have a wonderful video also. Maybe I will share with you that video. That is true also. And so, making himself give us credit. So that is uh, this will happen. What happens with this? Mandi Nadi Vikas. I the Prana Shakti goes to Sushmana. And I tell you, we can see the face of supplementation. You can see the face right there. So this is a people can always simple to for people to practice. Here my main intention is the second darna. When you, you can evolve to the higher level of practice of meditation. Then there are. Many many dharnas. In fact, one dharna I can show it on myself. Maybe you can difficult. I should, that's called Bhairav Mudra. I, somebody will be be able to practice it also. Should I show it on myself? That's that dharna. Yes. I yes. show it. This also you can. This also from Vigyan Bhairav only. But uh, before that, I want to tell about young people. This is a very important dharna. Work young working people. As you go out of the morning, you can wash your face. You can go to balcony. I mean, there was in India because there's flats, funny posty. Here you have houses. Look at the sky. Go in the open. You have to do two kriyas. You have to do one is called pulanti kriya. You must stand conveniently. I keep your uh, eyes closed. Just chant only once. Om. Chant once. Just once. Om. And watch the om disappears. The only through that you listen to these through ears. Two three minutes, how this om disappears in the sky. It will give men mental alertness also, and you know, energize your body. This is the first thing. Then you slowly slowly open the eye. We keep mantra, guru mantra, om jai shri krishna, om namah shivaya in your heart, and then look at the miracle of Ak Akash ether. Now we say see the rising sun. <laughs> I don't know whether rising sun is possible here. Or I don't know what cloud, whatever. Some miracle of the Akash. Four five minutes watch it. Your day will be very energetic. Your day will be powerful. Mentally, take the name of God and watch this. And standing, your day will. This also you must do that. Now coming, for, uh, this is a little advanced meditation. That's why I want to do it on myself. I don't want you to explain it. This is called Bhairav Mudra. Bhairav Mudra says, 
goal inside, gauge outside, without blinking an eye. So what is the goal? Goal is Shiva. Shiva is within me. Shiva is outside also. You are all Shiva. So a little less, once you are practicing, it is higher. Shiva within me and Shiva outside me. Then when I open outside my eyes, everything is Shiva. I should have no doubt. But if I have a doubt, then I'll get blink. I'll start blinking. We are not do blinking. That is a because uh, uh, there's a check, check, check and balance. Keep your eyes open. It's an open eye meditation. This you will be able to do very when we go to a temple, some Tirasathan, some pious place. You will get quickly this Vairo Mudra. You will get quick connection. And if you want to go to this, go to some Tirasathan, you should not miss. You try to do it there. Here you will get easily in this thing. Again, goal inside, gate outside. Shiva within me, Shiva outside. So let me open my eyes. You see, I will not blink. So it's a bit difficult in the beginning, but it's a refreshing. You will see a. You, you, with this, we absorb the. Suppose you go to a big temple, so Devka, Ansh, Ansh, you can absorb. You see a different thing, feeling with you. So how do it? Like this, smile on the face, open my shivai, in my mind. Then slowly, slowly, I will open the eyes, not blink. Thank you very much, uh, Virendra Kazi ji, uh, for uh, enlightening us with your words of wisdom. And I'm sure all of you uh, really, really benefited from um, Virendra ji's uh, pearls of wisdom. A big round of applause for Virendra ji. And as we were uh, almost like drinking from a fire hose, while uh, Virendraji was uh, sharing his words of wisdom, uh, we we are really really thankful uh, to you, Virendraji, uh, for taking time out of your busy schedule and then spending the afternoon with us. As we come to the close of our uh, uh, sandhya here, I'd like to recite um, the Shanti Mantra to close the evening and as uh, uh, Parveen ji said, you know, please, please keep the uh, uh, questions coming. Uh, but, you know, the Shanti Mantra is from the Isha Upanishad. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamevavashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om May Lord Shiva and my Mother Parvati bless you. Thank you very much.